Hey guys, what's going on? This is Jeff in Control Robinson. Uh, this is going to be under the In Control Talks category, I suppose, on my YouTube channel, which I've been abusing. I, I apologize for not making any videos. Um, for me personally, it's it's kind of one of those things where I will make videos when I, I really feel strongly about something or I, it really interests me, and this is something that I want to do. So um, hopefully you guys will have some patience, understand that there's going to be either lots of videos or some you know, some breaks. But anyways, on, on to the stuff. I want to talk about three things today. First, I want to talk about my professional life. It's it's the beginning-ish of the year. I guess we're a quarter into the year, which is kind of weird to say, but uh, here we are. So I just kind of want to talk about, a lot of people have been asking, you know, what do I do for a living? What do I plan on doing? What's my future look like? I want to talk about that. Um, I also want to announce and talk about the Thursday stream that's coming up. That is this coming Thursday. Uh, the 17th, so obviously as this video goes on, it's going to be less and less relevant, but that's what we're talking about this time around. And then last, the third subject I want to talk about is going to be stream update and kind of what you can kind of expect about the stream and what I hope to do in the, in the very near future. So first first subject, professional life, let's talk about that. As it currently stands, I'm still employed by Evil Geniuses where I am a gaming personality. What that means is if they ask me to do some content for whatever, I do it. If they want me to uh, go to a convention and, and be around sponsors and, and talk on a panel, I do it. Um, I still obviously stream and play StarCraft, and I am laden with the sponsors, and I represent them, and, and I just do whatever I can to help promote the company and, and do that. I'm no longer a professional player. That's been for a while now. Um, I'm just kind of a, a gaming guy, so to speak. But that's my current and major employer. I also stream for a living. I, co I host and commentate StarCraft, so you'll see that if I'm ever not streaming, it's because I'm off doing esports things in some distant lands, uh, which is awesome, and I love it. Um, but also, in the this has been a while coming. There's been a few times where I've announced kind of projects I'm super excited about, and oh, guys, like I'll have this big update. Um, ever since EG was acquired by Twitch, there's been workings in the background of trying to figure out what my future is going to look like, because... While it is awesome to sit, and actually, ironically, this is one of the only videos I'll ever make where I am wearing pants, but most of the time I'm not wearing pants while I stream or do anything um, at home. Um, I, I want the security and I want the, um, the fulfillment of building towards something and working towards something. If someone looked me in the eye and said, Jeff, for the next 10 years, this is what you're, gonna, you're just going to be paid to be you, uh, be comfortable with that, I would be comfortable with that. But... As it is, I'm kind of in a holding pattern. I'm kind of in a treading water situation, which again, I'm being paid to be me. I'm being paid very well. I'm being supported, so it's it's. I'm very fortunate and very happy with that. But I want to know that I'm building towards something. I want to be contributing to a bigger picture. Um, so those projects, those rumblings I've talked about, they haven't panned out. Um, there's no blame here. There's no sad story. It's just that's that's life. You know, sometimes projects are talked about and worked on, and then. They just don't work out for one reason or another. Currently, uh, I am in talks with moving on and transitioning into Twitch, which is kind of the gaming dream. They're absolutely incredible. My wife works for them, where she's extraordinarily happy um, and doing very, very well. So um, I, I, it's not necessarily working for Twitch. It's how do I work for Twitch that, that uh, is really important because I don't see myself, if I can help it, being someone that's sitting at a desk doing something I'm not very good at. I want to be, I want to be change. I want to be game changing. I want to be doing awesome content. I want to be um, furthering the market. I, I, I want people to uh, follow in my path and, and and find their their hopes and dreams fulfilled because of work that I've done. So that's that's all really fluffy, nice talk, right? You just opened a fortune cookie and you didn't even know it. Um, I can't go into too much detail again because I would be putting people on the spot that don't deserve that and it'd be really bad for me but that's just that's just where I'm going um, in the meantime I am streaming and I'm gonna talk more about the streaming part uh, on the streaming section here in a few moments um, and I like I said I'm being paid to be a gaming personality which again in StarCraft is great uh, two three sometimes four times a month I'm out of I'm out of state or country doing that work so I'm keeping obviously very busy and, and providing for my family and myself and building towards a better future so I I, I am in a good spot I just want to be in a better one that's that's what I'm always fighting for um, so that's the answer to the, the, that situation in question. Hopefully more details on that soon. There is a, a timeline on a, yet another situation and project that could be defining what I do for a living very soon. And I hope to report that to you guys asaply. 
Next, let's talk about the Thursday stream. So on the 17th of this week, South by Southwest is going to be going on. And in conjunction with Twitch, who's at South by Southwest, doing great coverage there, uh, they're doing this activation slash promotion thing where at the beginning of the show, Co Carnage, one of the absolute best people I've ever met in my life and one of the best streamers you could ever watch play any game, I highly suggest if you have it for some reason, um, Co Carnage, um, he will be opening the show talking about being a streamer. He's going to stream some stuff. They're going to host him. They're going to interview him on stream from S South by Southwest Twitch. They're going to host and interview him. Uh, but he'll be at home streaming. And then they're going to do their day show where they cover South by Southwest, have people come up and do the panels, interview game devs, that kind of stuff. Uh, but, that, but then to close out the day, they're going to throw to me. And what an amazing company to be a part of, and I'm, I'm so excited to do this. Uh, but the same kind of stuff. They're going to be like, hey, Jeff, you know, you're asking me some questions about streaming. They're going to host me. They're going to interview me. I'm going to have to actually shower, maybe do my hair. Uh, this is unshowered, non-done hair, though. And I know what you're thinking. Damn, you look good. But I can actually look better. I'm going to try. Um, so that's awesome. What a huge opportunity. Really cool. It's going to be new eyes on the stream. It's going to be doing camera work for uh, a, you know, a production company that I love and adore. And, and just all kinds of cool stuff for me. So that's selfishly very, very awesome. Um, they wanted me to play a game that's going to allow me to interact with the audience really well, which StarCraft is not the best for. Uh, it's what I'm most known for, but if I, I'm too competitive to play a game of StarCraft super aloof. So we're going for the, the better game to interact with chat, which is going to be my current addiction and passion, which is XCOM 2, um, which is amazing because it coincides with the launch of their new DLC, uh, Anarchy's Children. I keep trying to call them Advent's Children, but that's so wrong to say. Anarchy's Children, which is purely a cosmetic DLC. It's only $5. Um, but it comes with like thousands of new options to doll up your guys. And it's just real fun. Silly fun. You can have them like wear a steel clown mask and have a baseball bat with nails coming out of it. Like just awesome stuff. Um, <laughs> which will be really fun. So I'm going to be playing that and interacting with the audience a lot. And because of these two things, I thought to myself, hey, why not reach out to 2K, the guys and, and ladies that developed XCOM 2, and see if they want to, to jump in on this opportunity to show off their game to more people as well. They, of course, being the awesome people they are, said absolutely. So they're going to be giving me some keys. Um, that's for Anarchy's Children. It's going to be for... None of this is settled, by the way, so don't um, hold this as the word of law. But something along these lines of 20-ish keys of Anarchy's Children, uh, full game keys, enemy within, enemy, enemy unknown, that kind of stuff. So just an assortment of that. And I'm going to be giving those away on stream. Um, and, and maybe they'll promote, maybe they won't. Who knows? But just it's awesome that they're giving anything to give back um, to you guys who will hopefully be tuning in. So that's this Thursday stream. Um, I'll be doing probably Legendary Iron Man because that's that's the masochist in me. I just, I just, I'm a glutton for abuse. Um, but it'll be really fun. Hopefully you guys will tune in and check that out. Um, and now let's talk about the stream in, in general. Let's talk about a stream update. And this is, uh, this will... I'll try to be quick. I'm obviously a very long one. You guys know that from all my videos. But anyways, I have been really happy with the stream. My community is mega positive. We call ourselves Chat Utopians. Uh, the general idea is come in, contribute, participate, have fun. Don't be dicks. You know, uh, like, let's have intelligent conversations. And, and it's one of the more moderated streams that you can go to, uh, which is a huge turnoff to some. And a huge turn on to others. And for me in particular, it's how I would want it to be. So I'm really proud of my stream in that respect. Huge shout out to my moderators um, who I don't pay. Uh, I don't give nearly enough love and deserve way more recognition and credit than they get. But but they do such an incredible job. And they make they make my channel what I want it to be. So that's awesome. Um, but, but I think a lot about improving my stuff. And my stream's kind of where I start. Uh, my emoticons were... As I got them, I just kind of I, I went to my guys and I was like, "Hey guys, let's let's get a picture of this. Let's do a picture of that." They're okay. I, I don't hate them or anything like that. But I look at some of these other streams and I see really well done emoticons and, and funny ideas and stuff like that. I'm gonna revisit my emoticons. I'm gonna try to contact an artist um, and see if we can't churn out some some cool ones that people would be more excited about. Obviously, same kind of stuff where they apply to the culture of our stream, but also I want people to be excited about using them abroad. No timeline on this. I'm a mega busy guy, and I say yes to way more things than I should, but I will, I do want to do this. Along the same lines, I want to have an artist in general help me work with having different overlays. So I'm doing XCOM, and all I have is like my camera up in the corner. 
Um, I, I would like it to be, you know, an XCOM themed border with my social media and, and that kind of stuff uh, more cleanly laid out and that kind of thing. So I'm going to talk to an artist again um, or someone along those lines, try to pay them some money to, to make my stream look better in that way. Um, but then the, the big, the, the meat and potatoes of this message is that I'm going to try to shift to a schedule. Um, I've been loosely doing this off of the help of my dark passenger friend, Jetlag, where I've been waking up every morning at 6 a.m. and instead of just, like, doing nothing, I've been streaming. I would like to stream somewhere in the realm of 8 a.m. or 9 a.m. PDT every morning for three or four hours. going to figure that out myself. Um, take a lunch break and then stream for another three or four hours um, in the day. So a good seven or eight hours of streaming every single, well, five days a week is what we're going to aim for, um, barring travel, of course. And have that on display and something people can count on. I think that's a major facet of, of making your stream successful for those of you out there that are maybe doing the same. That's something that I know to be true from my friends that are much bigger streamers than myself. Um, and then also, and, and this is kind of the bigger meta shift for my stream, if you will, have one half of each of those streams be StarCraft every single time, for the most part. Again, not word of law, but, but yes, four or five times a week StarCraft. And then the second half of that stream be a different game. Um, it, with the flexibility of, uh, again, being StarCraft, of course, if I'm just feeling StarCraft, I want to play more StarCraft. But um, the second half of that stream being Darkest Dungeon, being Heroes of Might and Magic 3, being XCOM 2... Uh, Dawn of War, like, just these fun games that I think people really do enjoy watching me play and interacting with me while I play. Um, and, and that's, that's pretty big. That's a change from the stream. The stream the last five, six years has been 99% StarCraft, a, a CSGO stream once or twice a month, and then XCOM binges. Like, obviously, uh, the last month or so has been a heavily XCOM favored. But to give you an idea of why this is partially true... Um, you know, there's going to be people that are like, do you not like StarCraft anymore? Have you lost your passion? No, I, StarCraft is why I'm here, and I love it. But I'm not a competitive StarCraft player anymore. Playing 10 hours of StarCraft a day does not actually appeal to me. I've always been a gamer. I've always loved games. And now, as a non-professional StarCraft II competitive player, I'm in a place where I do want to play StarCraft. Not, not just because of my professional life, but because I love it, and because I think it's really fun and, and engaging and awesome. Um... And I think it actually, to be brutally honest too, I think if you're going to commentate and host StarCraft, you absolutely should play StarCraft. I, I should never look myself in the mirror and be like, well, I don't play StarCraft, but these people are going to pay me thousands of dollars to go talk about it. That's not doing your job. Um, so that'll always be a part of my life, and that's awesome. But I am a gamer. I want to play Fallout 4. I want to play Metal Gear Solid 5. Like, I want to play those games. And I also want to stream because that contributes to my livelihood, but also it's really fun for me, to be honest. I'm not making millions of dollars streaming. I'm not making uh, game-changing money off of this. I'd like to someday. I'd like to work towards that. But in order to work towards that, I need to have fun and enjoy what I'm doing, and I need to also strategize. And that's this hits on all of those things. Um, it is fun and engaging. I do enjoy it. It is better for the stream. Um, just across the board, it's a win-win. So that's just kind of explaining it out. I, I'd love to take your guys' questions and, and, and comments in the, in the comment section here. And uh, if not, you can tweet them at me as well. Uh, the tweeting is not going to get quite as many good responses because that's just not the right place for it, but you can message me on Twitch as well, in Control TV, or on YouTube, in Control TV. Um, I do check both those, and, and I will respond to those, absolutely. Um, so that's it. That's the blog slash update. Hopefully you guys are excited about those things. I None of it's sad. It's all good um, as far as I'm concerned, but, you know, of course, to each their own. So hopefully you guys uh, enjoy this, and, and let me know. All right? I'll talk to you soon.